Hello everybody and welcome to episode 103 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. And in this particular episode, one, two, three, four, five, yes. In this particular episode, our goal is to fill this pit with water. Mmm, water. And there is a reason why, I swear. It's to fend off gravity. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this is the direction toward the nearest body of water. Yes, there's a pool in this house right here, I believe. And we're going to collect from it. Probably going to be a lot of zombies in this POI, so we're gonna have to clear that out first. I guess. They're all somewhere in there. I think I can see one of them laying down. Oh no, there's one of them standing up. There's a stripper right there. What are you doing? <laughs> well, here we go. Dealing with the Local crackheads. Just those two? Well, I expected more. But we have to clear a bunch of space on our hot bar. While we're at it, make more stacks of stone. Clear up space in our inventory. We'll do these slots for now. Right click, right? Yes, there we go. Okay, let's get a handful of these. The water is refilling itself as I take from it. There's absolutely no time in between, which means it's possible to create an infinite water source. The easiest way to test that out is to do the Minecraft style. We create a little 2x2, two two. now let's try filling it with water, right there, and here, right there, and one more in this corner. Now, let's see if it's infinite. If I collect from here, ah, it instantly refills. Well, not instantly, it's actually delayed a bit now. If I refill it, what happens? I'll take from it again? Okay, so it's not really infinite. What if I dig down a bit more? Try to get one more layer down. So the water fell into it. What if I put the water higher up? Does it instantly fall down? It does. Interesting. So it's not possible to... Buh, that was weird. It, is it really not possible to create an infinite water source? It's also seemingly not possible to put water on top of water. If I keep putting it on the block above this, it seems to do a lot of nothing. Let's try again. Put some right there. Let's grab this weird little globule and put it right there. Yeah, it's not filling up. It's only going one layer. Does this mean that I can't actually create my lake? I want to create a lake. Or a pond. Oh, that one refilled. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to take another one. Oh, it refilled. Okay, we'll try a third. Then it's all gone. The, ent the entire body of water disappeared. I'm so confused. Well, it begs the question, how do I get the water to be higher up like this? So if I have this hole here... And then I, let's say, let's put two blocks out this way and put a single bit of water right here and it fills in somewhat. What if I fill right here? It disappeared again. Interesting. It seems to be operating in an unusual manner. What if I dig down one? Will it go in? Will you fill? No, you're just going to sit there confused. How do I fill something with more than one layer of water? What do? How do? Because I tried digging while the water was already here and it went down more. See, like this. Lost an entire layer there. So I'm a bit lost on this one. And by a bit, I mean completely. I have no idea how to handle this. Let's grab from here, and then here. Oh, whoa, okay, so I picked one up and it filled everything in. Oh, wait, hold on. So if I dump right here now, one layer up, no, nothing. Okay, pick that back up. Oh, dear. Okay, put it down. <laughs> I'm so confused. Ooh, not the gun. I need, I need the auger. Let's see. We want to go up one layer. So right about here, I guess. Right there. No. Dig this out one. Hmm. It appears to be doing something by just even out the layers above it. Let's try grabbing one from the center here. So we managed to get this. This is one block down. This corner here. We managed to get that filled up with it being one block higher. So the question is how to get it to go even higher. Err. We fill in right here. It attempted to fill for a second there and then gave up part way through. What if I just keep grabbing from the pool? Is this what I have to do? Oh, now the pool has a pocket. Because of the trash pile, I bet. Oh, this is interesting to look at. I'm I'm gonna get out of here if I can. I can't jump. <laughs> oh no. Let's go up the ladder. Let's just keep grabbing from over here so that that trash pile won't cause more friction in reality. We don't really need that right now. We're already dealing with seven days of water mechanics. We've got enough friction in reality right here. So no amount of repeatedly filling this spot is doing anything. Four attempts and... Four times cancelled out. I feel like there's a key piece that I'm missing here. Because I managed to get it to go up by one. So if I put water blocks on the outside here, most of them fall in. What if I do the same place? Okay, it's getting confusing. Let's put another one in. <laughs> it's, 
so confusing. Okay, what if I create a... Oh, wait, hold on. This is one up. <laughs> We're making progress. What if I create a nice smooth divot going up? Get rid of this block. And this is our smooth divot right here. So if I fill that with water, first by grabbing some, making sure not to take from above that trash pile, no need to alter reality. Now let's try putting another block on top of this one. Fill. Oh, something's happening. We get the spot next to it. Fill. Ooh, interesting. Will that eventually level out? That's the question. What if I attempt to get the block behind it where this cotton is? Let's get that out of the way. Do this, get it out of my inventory. Try putting it on the block above. Oh, well, it did something, I think. Put another block right next to it. Of water right here. Ooh, ooh, it's doing something. It moved one block out. If you look here, that wasn't there a second ago. This actually makes me curious. If I remove these, what's going to happen? Seemingly nothing. If I put a block right here... Ooh, so it is possible. <laughs> just, <laughs> I'm just going to have to do it in a very confused manner. Let's fill all of our buckets and just start working on this. Oh no, I flubbed reality again. Let's go over here. Oh god, it's following me. Duh. Freaky. All right. This is going to be a bit of a tedious process. No, oh, reality. Stop it. <laughs> Fix yourself, damn it. So that's clearly creating some kind of pocket of air. But over time, the rest of the pool fills it in. It's just much slower than I expected. Let's make our way back over here. Maybe we should grab the Harley since we're going to be doing back and forth trips. Hey, Don't. Just don't. I don't have time for your crap. Yes, we're definitely going to use the Harley. Anything to speed up the process because this is about to get a little tedious. Master, we are not alone. Mm, that's two screamers. Stealthy, sneaky. They're not grumbling or bumbling. They also both seemingly came from the strip club. The screamers have picked up some unusual hobbies. All right, we've made our way back here. I guess we'll just start dumping water on the outside and see what happens. <laughs> here we go. Just watch that. Do nothing. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to put one of these on each of the corners on the outside and just see what happens. We've seen that if you put it inside, like if I were to put it on the side of that block, it just falls down. It is affected by gravity, just in an unusual manner. It might actually be better to turn this into a sort of divoted pond aiming inward instead of a pit. I might have to sort of ramp out these walls. We'll see though. Since the water seems to move over time, I'm just going to put some on these corners for now. <laughs> Maybe I should just keep putting them on these outside blocks. So we'll put one right here and see what happens. Bub. Not much, I guess. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the? Oh, surely. She started to meld with my face. Very interesting. You know, maybe we should attempt to create a body of water real quick. A small one that we can keep collecting from. Actually, you know what? That makes me curious. This water is collectible. The water that it dumps down here, is this also collectible? It is, and that water is still there. Which, okay, if you say so. So if I punch a hole right here, and I dump water in it, it all falls down. I see. What if the hole is a little further out? You know what? Let's just punch a little bit here. That seems to even out properly. Now we'll put water right here. So it kind of pools in. No, dab. We might have to go further out. Oh, it is creating a bigger sort of hole. So if I do it again, put some water on the outside. And that got... It, it, it's, it's, it's a confused Tetris piece. Let's go ahead and try this again. Dump it right here. Okay, it got bigger. But if I collect from it, it will on bigger itself <laughs> collect from here dump again no it's not gonna get bigger what if i put it outside of the actual divot oh it still fell damn you gravity collect from here and it got smaller again damn okay let's make this more than a single block what if we have it like this where it's flat here okay so it made that bigger and i have another pocket here so if i dump it again nothing what if i dump it right here Nothing. What if I just do this in repetition for a while? Maybe, maybe it'll keep adding little droplets to the puddle behind me, then make it larger. We never know. We're sciencing by aggressively right-clicking until something happens. And it's still the same size. I see. Well, here's what we'll do. Dig out two blocks along the same path and, well, do the same thing. Let's put some water right here. A little bit away. Dumping? Nothing. What if I dump it up here? Will it fall down a little? No. What if I put it closer? It fell. It did extend it a bit, I think. I think. No promises. Hmm. Let's grab some water from the 
corner up here, maybe? I might beat this block out the corner. Oh, nothing good. Let's go ahead and collect the water from down here. It's not doing anything important. <laughs> I'm so confused. Let's put some more water right here. Are you going to spread at all? I'm making weird sloshy noises. That's cool. So I think, therefore I am, I am very confused. Now if I put it closer, it all just kind of gets sucked up. Oh, it got bigger. We can do this very, very slowly. Insanely slowly. So I'm thinking, we're going to collect that. So I'm going to have to create like a little river flowing into that that's big enough that it won't suck up the entire body of water when I dump it. Let's try it. Let's go further out, like so, like this. Maybe even make the body of water a bit bigger. And then it should slowly make its way into the pit. Should, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps it's a good thing that I've never messed with Seven Days' uh, aqua situation. Let's dump some water right here. Oh, that picked up the entire batch. My senses have picked up something. Oh, a little wandering horde. Just in time. I was getting a little bored. Free XP for me. Hooray. Alright, we'll whip out some more of the buckets. Try to fill this little pocket in. Just keep dumping water. Don't take from it. At this spot as well. There we go. We're getting some progress. Go well, that- oh, okay. It's just- oh no. It gets so confused so easily. So we now know that these corner blocks aren't really doing much. They are- well, they did produce more than a single block of water, which is good, but we need more than just that. Let's fill that up. That did nothing. Collect from it. Now we're down one. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get some more. Um... This water is really doing nothing, so we'll collect that again. Seems like we need more than a single block. We're gonna have to create little bodies of water on the outside. Let's try to fill this spot up. We did. Good, good. Now this weird divot here has to go. Take it, place it. No, take it. Maybe it's because it's uneven. Maybe. Is it uneven? I need a block on my hotbar. Okay, it is uneven, so I need to beat out this right here. Then attempt to fill it with water. Right there. Nope. Still just altering reality. Not what I was planning. Maybe if I give it enough time... Oh no. I want this to be filled in properly, but that's proving to be very difficult. Is it because of these straight lines? Do I need more divots out this way? Like this. That could be it. Maybe it needs to be on like a ramped surface. Let's try it right here. Put it up there. Oh, it started to do something. It produced extra water, actually. Can I collect this? Yes. For a moment, it almost seemed like it could have been an infinite water source. Let's put one right here. It filled some things in. Let's keep doing this. And I lost my water again. <laughs> I'm so confused. This is interesting, to say the least. So if I just keep filling the outside like this, it seems like it will slowly fill it up. I just want to have one infinite water source around here. I lost water for that placement. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the pool and collect more water. I do think what I have to do is create a sort of pond there with water that leads into the pit. Whoa, 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 right, that's my horde base. Saw another hole and I started to freak out a little bit. I'm not sure if this particular episode is going to be productive at all. Whoa, went way past my objective. Apart from learning things, it's science time. Oh, that air pocket from prior is still there. Fun pimps. Can we please, just, can we get the down low on how water works in this game? Somebody's got to explain, preferably in English. I might have to make more buckets. Oh, we've made another permanent divot of air. So the water is never truly limitless because it didn't fill in that pocket, and we've made a second one, which, oh wait, hold on, hold on now. You see how full this is? Over time, either this water or the water inside has actually filled up evenly, apart from that one square, for whatever reason, with the rest of what I had put here. Oh, what's up, nerds? Oh, is this a wandering horde? Again? What started all this? The damn spiders are so loud. There's no reason for them to be that noisy. You know, I didn't hear a screamer or anything, so I don't know where these guys are coming from. Also, our lead, I'm over here. Stop wandering into the POI. Anyways, to finish my statement, you can see here that the water that I began to place has filled this up. It, it just wasn't like this when I left. So it does take time. As long as you can get water at a proper level, it will slowly fill everything else up. Slowly. And without rhyme or reason. I do not think it's working with these corner bits here. So I think I do in fact have to create these little bodies of water like this. Then set them up in such a way. Place some here. I don't know why that air pocket is there. The last time I filled this in, I kind of regretted it. Let's take this. Yep. 
put it in the middle. Hey, there we go. Now we've got an actual body of water. Okay, now let's try to fill in this spot right here. Ooh, ooh, we're getting progress. If we do one more, right here. Ooh, again, right here, maybe? Um, put one more right here. Interesting. So it all instantly falls in. But if I were to set this up to be one lower, then seemingly nothing happens. If I do it here too, and here, and over here, then we just have this weird flat wall of water. Isn't that wonderful? But what if I put a block on top of it? Um, well, it did something, certainly. Let's take that back. Oh, well, we've somehow deprogressed again. I do not understand any of this. Maybe what we should do for now is just get to placing blocks slow and steady-like, like these ones. Actually get them placed in here with the goal of filling the entire thing, at least the first layer. Turns out I should have probably just done this over a pre-assembled body of water because this is not doing much. It's this right here. This is, <laughs> this might take a while. Maybe, just maybe, it was a bad idea. But we did create a single body of water. Now all we have to do is figure out how to fill it properly. I, is that a bunny? What are you doing in there? Get out of my water. Hmm. Previously, I had water here, didn't I? Over in that POI, I had this same divot here, this ramp in the earth and i had a block of well that's gone now i had a block of water just on the outside of it so if i put one right here maybe <laughs> maybe that'll slowly fill it up i wanted to hit this second level and then slowly funnel into there i don't think that's gonna happen this doesn't seem like it will so very interesting i might have to watch a video on this because doing this one block at a time like this probably isn't it <laughs> let's go get some more hey, bunny you are another sacrifice to the lake that I'm building. You can stay there. Also, apparently I'm hungry and thirsty. Let's mix that with some tuna fish gravy toast. What a mouthful that is. When you eat it, it's a mouthful too. Go ahead and chug some of that water and <laughs> make our way back to this pool for the third run. I guess we're just going to completely empty that pool <laughs> and slowly fill our little horde base. All for progress. Uh, well, I can keep taking from this, so it's not actually emptying. It's just creating some unusual alterations in reality. Like you do. <laughs> this does not look natural fun, pimps. Oh, no, I've actually emptied it. It just took a little bit. Please. Somebody has to explain this to me. I mean, it's kind of funny trying to figure it out. But if I can't figure it out by the end of this episode, I will probably just Google it. I'm sure there's a reason to the madness, a rhyme, a rhythm. So far, this is not in fact gravitying at all. Maybe it needs to go higher, but then you have the question of how do you get it to go higher? So we have this and divot. If I create a second layer here, wait, why did that happen? I didn't do that, whatever. If I create a second little mini pond here, if I can, if it doesn't just absorb all of it, Seems like it's really trying to. There was some interesting interactions just a second ago. Let's go ahead and place another block here and see if that happens again. See, it's it's like trying to move in there to fill it. Then it's giving up halfway. I am going to fill in this spot. I, well, you know, I probably should have just grabbed the water out of it first. Save myself a trip. Let's go ahead and put more water here. Slowly work on filling that up. I might have to just craft more buckets. Okay, let's fill in this. Created a relatively level area, surface, whatever. Empty another spot here. No. Okay, we'll try the corner here. So it is attempting to fill things. So I need to watch a guide on how water works in this. Because this ain't it. Let's go ahead and try to extend the size of this sort of tunnel that the water is going down. One more layer should be fine. So realistically, that water should slowly fill into there. And then that water should slowly fill into here, I assume. Maybe this isn't working because it's not an actual direct path upward. We have an extra block up that's not supposed to be there. So we'll make an actual ramp like this. this seems about right. Seems appropriate. So if it's done correctly, that should slowly fill up the entire thing. Let's put some water in the corner here. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> this whole situation is very confusing. Well, I think that's begun to fill up a little bit in this pocket. Now the question is how we're going to get it to properly divot down into here. Well, we'll find that out as we come back with more buckets of water. I think it may in fact be a good idea to actually craft more to reduce the amount of trips. Probably. That is likely the answer. Now you could say this has been an entirely wasted day, but I think, I think, we've been learning.
which makes it more valuable than most days. If we can figure out how this works, we can carry that into every other time that we play this game. Oh god, what is with the water mechanics in this? Oh god, none of it makes sense. So this is still maintaining this unusual shape where it's filled in all, what is this, three layers, I believe? Yes, there's one down here, one block. Oh, that's unusual that I can see like this inside the water. It's one... I'm on number two, and then up here is number three. So it's filled three blocks, but it refuses to fill that corner. If I was to put a bucket of water right here, I filled it. Huh, interesting. Let's grab this extra water on the outside. So it seems like having the water on the outside didn't do anything. It was something else. So I came out here. It might have just been the ramp. I had a block of water here on this ramp area, this sort of incline, or decline, or however you want to look at it, and it didn't sink in. So that might be what we need. Seems I still have more buckets to fill. I'll do that real quick. I'm not too worried if the pool runs out of water, because there are many other water sources around. Relatively close ones. Relatively. Let's hop on my bike. Instead of going on foot, I keep running back for no good reason. And here we go for, what, round four, I think? Let's take a look over here and see if we've gotten any progress in this area. Nope, all the same. So if I put water on top of this spot, it started to say, ooh, ooh, hold on, we have progress. So it filled in this area properly, and it's left a block of water right here right there. That may seem like nothing, but I think it's everything. That's fairly important. Makes me curious, if I leave this like that, will that fill the rest of this body of water to be too high? Will it, or will it not? We're sciencing in this horrible water mechanic game. Hmm. I guess we'll have to leave this like this for now and just see if that fills anything. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it can, but for now, we will continue the process of filling this bottom layer with water. One block at a time. Very slowly and painfully. Interesting. I'm walking around and sometimes it's making sloshing noises even though I'm not touching water. Like right there. It was nowhere near this block but it decided to go slish slosh. Splish splash. I was taking a bath. But -da -da -da. Uh, We're almost done with the outer ring. So, wait, no, we still have more in the inventory. No, we don't. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop by the base. <laughs> this entire episode is literally just carrying buckets of water. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to my 9 to 5 and 7 days to die. We're going to slowly empty this entire pool of water. Interesting how some of them get left behind like this. Very weird. When I right click in certain spots with the bucket, it registers as that being the sort of like entity, the object of the water, which allows me to pick up other water around it. Like how there's water here on top of this trash, but it doesn't technically count, so I have to pick up the water next to it to make it disappear. So very confusing. Oops, just dumped more water into the pool, which made the pool have more actual accessible water. I'll never understand this. We're gonna stop by the base and drop all the- Hey, 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 hey. Don't think you can sneak past me. Whoops. Accidentally two-tapped her. The fire rate for the M60 is pretty good. So sometimes I don't actually have the awareness or dexterity to just shoot one bullet. Every now and again I let off two. And it feels so wasteful. Even though we know we have more than enough. Let's get some moonshine. First things first. That's great, Shirley. We have to get rid of all this stone and clay. There is a lot. Now, wait, what? My door is closed. Was she already in here? Um, now I have to look around again. Ah, I see. Another instance of a screamer punching holes through my damn fence. Let's fill it in with concrete blocks. Or bars, probably better. So I can at least shoot through them. You know what, while we're here, let's get rid of all the wood. And fill it in with more bars. Over here, you're wood, aren't you? We'll take out the first layer and replace with concrete bars. Over here, all cobblestone. All right, now we're good. Oh, fine and dandy. I guess since we're at the base, we'll go ahead and... It's not like it's not already a water-centric enough episode, but let's go ahead and collect the dupe collectors. Hmm, water. Who, where, why? I've got a bad feeling about this. Nope, I don't think that scream counted. Don't worry about it, surely. And I believe, yes, that was all the water. These are very busy, producing an insane amount of gunpowder. So, do I need another chemistry bench? Otherwise, I won't be able to make my duct tape. I suppose the duct tape crafts a lot faster than the rest of this stuff, so we'll just wait. The whole time I've been doing all of this, I should have been crafting more buckets. Let's say another... 
tad in her buckets for now. And then work on clearing out my inventory. I no longer need the sniper rifle. Let's see, I'm probably gonna keep picking up plant fibers. No point in clearing that out. Get rid of the nitrate and iron. Well, that cleared out quite a bit. The moonshine, go away. There's the iron. Alright, that's more room for buckets. Lovely. Lovely little buckets. How are these doing? Ah, we need to fill them with more stone, which we have plenty of. Six stacks should be enough to fill all of them, like so. Begin the process to craft even more cement. That's two done, and the rest. We're going to need more stone to turn this into actual concrete. So we'll temporarily remove, temporarily remove the buckets, and work on crafting the cement, concrete, whatever. I tend to use them interchangeably. Probably shouldn't. Oh, I'm missing sand. Right here. Now we have to put more buckets away. Two stacks should do for now. Might have to come back for more, actually. We have quite a bit of cement here. Concrete mix. Is that 10,000? Sure. Go ahead. And over here, another 2k. Raver Trader Jewels. I was overjudging how much cement I had. We'll go ahead and just put the rest of the stone away and take our buckets back. It's gonna be an interesting night filled with moisture and humidity. Let's go ahead and go back to the pool. Collect all the water that we can. Ah, we've only crafted about three buckets. Thought we had more. How long does it take to craft one of these? A minute a piece. Relatively excessive. Not terrible, but a bit. Well, in terms of game logic, in the real world, if you can just go and make a metal bucket in a minute and three seconds, well, you should probably contact Guinness. Get yourself put somewhere on a world record. Okay, so this is not in fact going up by a layer. And if we step down over to this pit, this water source hasn't moved at all, and the water that was on that block has disappeared. Unusual. I'm so very confused. Well, let's continue with the outside ring. Just keep filling it with water. I really do need to Google how all of this works. I likely will. Or I'll just fill all of this with hay and accept the fact that I can only go about 50 blocks. Right, we have the outside ring filled and now we just need to start working on some of the other blocks here. One at a time. Slowly but surely. I'm not sure what we're gonna do once we fill the first layer, but we'll figure it out afterwards. Get the feeling it will involve turning this into a more divided water source. So I'm going to have to turn the outsides and the walls there into ramps. Also, is that a deer? Sure is. Now it's a dead deer. More sacrifices to the lake. <laughs> Maybe if it starts raining, it'll just fill in with water. If only. It'd be pretty neat if you could place down a block that would tell the game to do so. Like, hey, I want this to fill with water. And the next time it rains, it just does. That'd be pretty neat, actually. Sort of like slapping down a flag that says, hey, I want <laughs> things to happen in a more realistic way right here. I'm starting to think it might have been a good thing that I've never messed with water in this game. Because it's not very good water mechanics at all. I want to understand how it works, because it would open up so many base ideas, mostly vertical ones, to mess with. To be able to mess with water properly, if I can fill the inside of a base, like say her royal girthiness with water, that would alter how she functions. I could give the zombies, I could give the zombies a not so straightforward path, where if they swim, they tend to swim a little faster than the player, but they beeline for the player, or the objective, if you have a door in a room, they'll swim straight for it, so you could fill an entire room vertically and horizontally the x and y axis with wire traps which could make things very interesting wire traps blade traps floating all over the place there's a multitude of things you could do <laughs> just one bucket at a time slowly really just slowly not even surely hmm. how can i make this function properly what if hmm. Should we? No, probably not. I'm tempted to start placing more water blocks up here. If, say this, it's a little bit higher up. If I put a water block right up here, is it just gonna disappear? I guess so. If I put another one on top of it, did nothing. Now if I pick it up, I'm just down a bucket of water. I really don't understand. So if I even this out, then... Place a bucket here, then right next to it, and another one right here. <laughs> I should technically have a body of water here, but it doesn't register that way at all. Should be fine to remove these. So, I'm very confused. Ooh, we're almost doing something here. I hope this doesn't just fall in. I hope. It'd be nice if that was enough for it to just go up a few layers. Just leave it like that, I guess. Because I need that to be happening in the rest of this spot. What if I break this? Seemingly nothing. 
nothing is happening if i go all the way down with it hopefully this water will start to fill in there as well I'm trying to figure out how this works i swear if it was dark as falls it really would be much easier even if we're not considering the infinite refillable sink thing you can place things called rain catchers which periodically just fill with water you can place them fairly high up they will even overflow it just seems to be any blocks around the area of where you place the rain catcher after a certain amount of time will be filled with water so if this were darkness falls i could for instance just put rain catchers up around the walls here and they would fill the entire place with water well <laughs> back to the pool we're gonna have to take a overview look at it and see if we've almost gone through the pool or not all of its water supply we might have oopsie daisy oh yes <laughs> Well, we've at least cleared out the entire shallow portion of the pool, which is something. Uh-oh. We are, <laughs> with every instance that I take, it's slowly losing more. <laughs> this is very interesting. I didn't think that I would be able to actually clear it out, but, well, infinite water sources don't really exist anymore. I'm starting to question whether water sources in general exist in this. Perhaps that other thing, the hole that I made over there that actually went too high, was just a fluke. Oops, I just dumped water instead of picking it up. Goofy. Is that all of my buckets? No, not even close. Listen, we're here for science. At least for this episode. I'm definitely not doing this again if we can't figure it out by the end of this one. It's Google or nothing. Back onto the bike. Well, at least we got to test the hatch theory over there, and it turns out that <laughs> if you put a hatch at the top of a ladder, the zombies just push you through blocks in a very uncomfortable manner. I wasn't suffocating while I was stuck inside of the wood block that he pushed me into, the fat cop at the time. However, I still wasn't sure if that would be an effective thing. I mean, eventually I would get bugged into a block at the top of the ladder, wherever I was, in the horde base, and then the zombies would probably activate the rage sequence and just start breaking everything nearby. So it's not necessarily a win. Not necessarily. Because we want them to be constantly chasing me and not doing damage to me or the base. That is essentially the end game of a horde base. Do damage to nothing while you yourself get damaged. You being the zombies. But we've almost got ourselves our little kitty pool. <laughs> it, uh, it's tiny. I've only got the one layer. I don't know how to make it two. Maybe you can't do it with big bodies of water. You used to be able to. I remember watching at least one video of somebody doing that. If this doesn't work, I may in fact just go find a nice lake. One that's deep enough, of course. We need it to be nice and deep. If it's not deep enough, then it won't work. Hmm. So this body of water, if I were to expand it, say two or three blocks, we'll do three. Three blocks this way. Oh, interesting. Something's happening right here. What is... <laughs> what, what is the water in this? I don't understand. Over here, we have a block that's kind of trying to meld into the earth. Over here, we have blocks above that aren't leaking down or doing anything. And then over here, we have nothing, basically. I'm going to break this block. Oh, that evened everything out. And now it's made an empty pocket. Great. I want this to fill in real quick. Hold on. Fill in. There you go. Nice and even. Now, if I were to punch downward... It accepted that. It hasn't created an air pocket or anything, I don't think. So if I add another block, what happens? Okay, we have two blocks, and it's still it's just filled with water. That's it. That's good. This is what we want. Now if I go another block, say three, we're fine. I saw it flash, so it filled it in, which makes me curious. Does this mean I'm going to have to fill an upper layer before digging downward? Did I mess this up before I even started? Is that what's going on here? So if this is creating a... Oh, never mind. Okay. I went down one too many and ruined the entire water source. Why? I can't science if it doesn't make sense. Science is to make sense of things. I can't. I can't do this. There's no testing that could fix this. It's definitely a Google situation. So if I put a block over here, water, it kind of fills it in a bit. Sort of. Oh, I'm so confused. Clearly I would take damage with the water only being one deep. I could feel the oomph of hitting the ground there. Maybe I only need three deep. Maybe that's the goal here. What is this? Let's take that. Try to put it over here. Put it right in this area. Oh, it's starting to fill in. Very interesting. Now if I take this weird corner block. Oh, that was needed, I guess. We'll keep it there. <laughs> 
I'm so confused. We'll grab one of the blocks from it here. They're not that necessary anyway. The hope, because of how A21 was supposed to operate, is that I could just place one of these down and it would slowly fill the entire thing. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, I'm going to fill in this block here as well. And ooh, it did something. Something good. Is this an air pocket? Is that what's going on here? It seemingly is or wait is not because i couldn't breathe there hey, we're doing something over here <laughs> that little puddle is becoming something it's growing so this is filled in now i guess let's try to put a block right in there there now it's nice and level so i don't understand i give up <laughs> this is a botched project at least until i can google the solution which i may do before the next episode because this has been episode 103. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.